G'day guys, my name's Dave from Guitar Zero to Hero, and today is a historic day for my own personal guitar journey, because today I'll be unboxing my very first nylon string guitar. Now, I'm not sure why it's taken me so long to get a nylon string guitar. I've been playing guitar now for about 17 years. I've always wanted one, but I just never got around to it. But I'm super pumped. Today I'll be unboxing the Taylor Academy 12EN nylon guitar. I'll be running you through the features, I'll be showing you how it sounds, but I'll also be talking about some of the differences between nylon string and steel string guitars as well. So anyway, let's get stuck into it. So as you can see, it comes with an awesome soft padded gig bag, which is always very handy. I, I really hate it when you get a guitar and it doesn't come with any sort of case at all. But I'm pretty sure any tailor you buy does come with a, a case of some sort, which is awesome. Okay, so here it is. Awesome. All right, let's put this case aside for now. And first thing you gotta do when you buy a new guitar is of course the sniff test. That fresh wood smell, there's nothing quite like it. So on first glance, very, very nice guitar. In terms of materials, this guitar has a Lutz spruce top and layered sapel back and sides. So really nice. On the headstock here on the machine heads, there's really nice inlay on uh, the machine heads, which is a nice visual touch. One of the most obvious things that you'll see when you do pick up this guitar is this beveled edge. Now I've seen this before, but I haven't actually played a guitar with this beveled edge and that actually makes so much of a difference. Wow. After playing guitar for 17 years, you kind of expect a certain feeling when you put your arm down, but that is just so comfortable. Um, Taylor, you've done a very good job there. That is just super comfortable. I'm sure like many of you, after I play guitar, there's always a big line under my forearm right here. Um, but I can't imagine that happening. This is just really, really comfortable. Um, and of course this guitar has a really nice satin feel to it, so uh, it's not sticky at all. Um, just a really nice smooth finish. Now this is the electric model, so it does come with a pickup and an inbuilt tuner. An inbuilt tuner is super handy on any guitar, but I would say it's even more handy on nylon string guitars because they're typically known for going out of tune a lot easier. Just because nylon strings tend to stretch a lot easier than steel strings, um, so they won't hold their tune quite as well. Um, so a tuner is very, very handy. So let's first tune her up. Cool, so now we're good to go. But before we continue, now that I have a nylon guitar, what tutorials would you like to see me create that have classical guitar in them? Leave that in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'll be playing a couple of riffs on this guitar so you can hear exactly how it sounds unplugged but also plugged in because this is the electric model so you can plug this into a uh, PA system or an amp as well.
Let's quickly talk about the differences between nylon and steel string guitars. Now, obviously the strings are the biggest difference here. With nylon strings, there's actually less tension on the guitar string. So they're actually a lot easier to push down and fret. So if you're a beginner, nylon string guitars are actually not a bad place to start as they're quite easy to play bar chords and, and fret notes in general, and they're easier on your fingertips. Steel strings, of course, have a more crisp sound and the majority of modern day rock, pop, country, folk music is recorded on steel string guitars. Now, if I was a beginner and I had to choose between a steel string guitar or a classical nylon string guitar, Personally, I would choose a steel string guitar. The reason for that is because personally, most of the music that I listen to or enjoy playing is recorded using steel string guitars. Of course, every now and then you'll hear songs with nylon string in them, but they are much rarer than steel string acoustic guitars in modern day music. Now, the other thing with classical guitars is that typically the nut width of a classical guitar is a lot wider than a steel string guitar. The downside to this is that using your thumb to fret the sixth string is a lot harder on a classical guitar. Thankfully though, with this particular model, the Taylor 12EN, the nut width is one and seven eighth inches wide. So it's actually a little narrower than your typical classical guitar, but still a little wider than your typical steel string guitar. So I would say it's a bit of a hybrid, it's in between. Now my hands aren't actually that big, but just feeling the neck here, I'm pretty sure I will be able to use my thumb. So let's just test that out. Yeah, it's actually quite comfortable, which is awesome. Now, the other thing about classical guitars is the fretboard radius is generally flat on a classical guitar. There is no curvature. So again, it is a little bit of a hybrid. It also has a truss rod too. A lot of classical guitars don't have a truss rod. With a truss rod, you have a little bit more flexibility when it comes to the setup of your guitar and the action as well. So that's another bonus for this particular guitar. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions review of this Taylor Academy 12E N nylon string guitar. Now on first impressions, the feel of the neck is awesome. Um, the strings are really nice and soft as well as you'd expect on a nylon string guitar. So Playability, it's its really nice. The feel of the neck feels like a steel string guitar, but obviously you got the nylon strings. Overall, I'm really impressed and I'm really happy that this is my first nylon string guitar. When I was looking for my first nylon string guitar, I was tossing up between this and other models from Cordoba and Yamaha, which were in the similar price range, but I decided to choose the Taylor just because I've played a lot of Taylor guitars in my lifetime and I've never played a bad one. Um, their manufacturing consistency and quality is just top notch. So I knew I was gonna get a, a good guitar and it definitely hasn't disappointed. Now, who could I recommend this guitar for? Now, if you're a brand new beginner and your budget allows it um, and you want something that's easier on your fingers, then this is a great option. If you're just after a nylon string guitar in general, you know, you've been playing steel string for a while and you're, and you're looking for that nylon string tone that you can't get out of steel string, then this is an absolutely great place to look as well. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions review. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, for more information on this guitar. If you have any questions about this guitar, then leave it in the comments below. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, please let me know what songs with nylon guitar in them would you like to see me teach? Leave that in the comments below. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.